Hello and welcome to Learn Play to Earn. So my name is Oz and I'm your friendly neighborhood play to earn advisor or knowledge sharer. Now your time is valuable. So today I'm doing the first on a series of very fast play to earn game summaries where I'll quickly give you all the information you need in hopefully less than eight minutes to help you decide if this game is something you'd like to play or invest in. So the game we're going to do a deep dive into today is the upcoming fantasy MMO called Mirandus. We'll cover what is it, the release date, where to invest, and how you earn that sweet cash or materium in the, as, as they use in this game. So um, here's what we'll cover. So I'll include timestamps also so you can jump straight to any answers you're interested in. Save time. So here we go. So what is Mirandus? It's still in the works, so concepts promoted now may not make it to the finished game, but Gala Games is presently working on Mirandas as an upcoming fantasy MMO. It's an open world online role playing game in which the game environment is influenced by the activities of players. So when Mirandas is released, players will be able to explore the environment from a first or third person perspective, from the in-game banks to the stores, farms or blacksmiths. Everything in the game world is owned by players, groups or organizations, uh, there'll be a vibrant in-game economy and everyone will have a role to play. And the concept is, is pretty amazing. So imagine an entire world owned by the players. The lands, the shops, the items sold will all be owned by the players who can exchange the currency earned in-game and convert it to real life money. Or they could even just trade items, either crafted or found during adventures on the marketplace as player owned NFTs or real life cash. This is something we've dreamt about as kids. Like imagine World of Warcraft or Rune's Great Escape if you want to go further back where almost every action you're doing or adventure you're going on could be earning you real life cash or, or, or items that actually have a value outside the game like, like as NFTs in this case. So it's very, very cool if they can pull it off. Now next up, release date. So the expected release date is late 2022. So this year. For me, at least. Uh, and, but I, I am a little bit skeptical of this because big games like this, which is a U MMO using new technology and it's the first of its type, really, are really are released in time. Uh, from my own personal experience, I'd be surprised if the actual release date was more like quarter two or quarter three of 2023. Because there uh, are big new games using new ideas and new technology really are released when promised. Like think of No Man's Sky or Star Citizen, which promoted big, which, which promised big, like uh, using new t revolutionary technology and then repeatedly missed their release date. And you're kind of not surprised when they're dealing with something new. So hopefully I'm wrong and it comes when promised, but personally, I'm not gonna take time off work to play this like late 2022, because I'm just not expecting it until the following year. Um, but now, next, where to invest? So, uh, Gala tokens can be purchased through Binance, OKEX, OKE, OKEX, I don't know how you pronounce that, KuCoin, Gate.io, and Uniswap. Uh, once purchased at an exchange, you'll need to send your Gala coins to your Gala wallet to be able to view and utilize them in game. And, and you can do that just by going to the Gala website, connect the wallet, transfer the stuff into the end, and creating a wallet's easy. So, that's, that's not hard. It's just, uh, an extra step if you're lost what to do um how to earn money in the game so this may change because it's very very early days um also developers are still working on how the free-to-play model will work um i should probably cover that now so at this stage it seems like players can participate in most of the in-game activities but just not earn materium uh which i'm about to cover so basically at this stage you'll need to invest in the game to earn in the game just like town star is at the moment um i built a town which made it to the top 300 towns that month which was early on it's probably harder to do now um but because i had not owned any gala tokens or nfts i could not receive gala tokens as my monthly reward so yeah you gotta invest a bit of money to get some money which which, which is okay if you're willing to go the distance um now how you earn money is materium so materium is kind of um, a valuable resource in the game it can be earned by playing Mirandas and exploring its secrets. Uh, it can be taken out of Mirandas as an ERC20 token coin. Um, no, token, I think this is. And possibly traded on secondary markets if players so desire. Um, and I've seen uh, very early videos 
um, and play tests where at the moment you get me Materium by running up to this kind of black circle which kind of has like smoke coming off it and and just by being close to that item um that that orb in the air you earn Materium for the day like as a daily quest so that will change but like they're still testing it and how it works and how you can accumulate it. um but Materium can be earned for those willing to brave dangerous adventures to find it the more powerful they become is depending on how much Materium they hold so that's that's the concept that's what they plan to do um the more you play the stronger you get by the more materium you hold now another way of earning money is through nfts so nfts allow you to freely own and trade your own content so that could be uh so nfts would be items in this just to clarify it's not artwork well maybe artwork i don't know but mainly they're using nfts to to kind of identify the items you have and make them locked into your account so no one else can take them it's not like a normal game the nft or the item exists outside the game and inside the game by being connected to your wallet as you play so um so those nfts may be purchased from a marketplace found during the game or crafted by yourself it is currently expected that all of these items can be sold or traded with mirandas or via an external marketplace such as uh, OpenSea, for instance. I know there's lots of Gala uh, NFTs on OpenSea at the moment, but that will change over time, especially this year. It'll be a big year with big changes happening in the NFT and game, no, play-to-earn gaming environment. Uh, now, next up, land. So you can purchase deeds or sit for cities or just land or just houses, which currently allow you to earn passive income. Um, just by having it or just by people using that land. So from what I understand, mayors of cities, which will cost a lot of money at the moment to buy an NFT for a city, I think it's worth over 2,000 ETH to get a, buy a, a city or a town. Um, and once you own that town, anything that happens in it, you earn a portion of the income, like, like a tithe or, or something like that. They're still working it out, but it's all kind of conceptual at the moment. Uh, and PvP, also, that has been mentioned. So it's been rumored that PvP may be enabled when two citadels and the players aligned within those citadels agree to go to war. And if that happens, then you can defeat other players from that rival citadel and then loot a portion of their position, which would be awesome but scary. Um, but exactly how this may play out has not yet been confirmed. It's only just rumored at the moment to be a part of the game. Now, let's cover potential downsides. So, um, the game is very, very early in development, pre-alpha. So, very early stress tests are still happening. So, if you were to invest in this game, like I mentioned, it's early days. It's very risky. It may not even take off. It's so early that, that it may be worth the risk because it's early on. There's not much money. The, the value of uh, holding Gala tokens or playing this game early and accumulating Mirandas uh, it may pay off because the game might blow up. But with early projects like this, it's dependent on how popular get the game becomes. So this could be huge like Axie Infinity currently is, uh, or it could just fizzle away because there might be lots of uh, similar games coming out at the same time or the marketing may not be there. Who knows? It may not, be, it may not work out to be a good game. It may be rubbish. Who knows? So one of the downsides is that at this, at this current point, when this video is released, very early in development. Um, also, the NFTs and how it still works is being worked out. That some, are worth, some of the MF NFTs at the moment are worth over 2,000 ETH, like I mentioned before. And the developers have admitted that they still don't know exactly what the NFTs will be capable of doing once the game is completed. So if you invest in an NFT now, you run the risk of the game never ever being completed or taking so long that no one cares once it's released. Also, if the, if the end game sucks or is not popular by the release time, then the value of the NFT you've bought today would plummet. Um, so at the moment, it's kind of like you'd be buying it on the hype that's going to be popular. Values will be high. But then when the game's actually released, if it sucks, no one likes it, then, then the value of that NFT would plummet. So uh, that's, that's another risk. Also, like I mentioned, the developers are still not entirely sure how the NFTs were going to be used within the game. So, for instance, you could sink $6 million into the Citadel of the Earth, which is that $2,000 ETH um, um, NFT, assuming that it would be an active location where you could earn rent or taxes on any of the activities 
completed inside that location. But instead, things could change and it could end up just being a, located in a crappy location. Are the rules how the taxes are uh, eventually uh, defined and you don't earn the taxes from your city or just a fraction of a fraction of what you expected uh or could this be a pretty skin on on your your, your swamp shack so <laughs> who knows but it's such early days that things could go in any direction uh so there is definitely some risk involved this early on in development same with any project though um or glass half full you could take a gamble on the game and it could be the next world of warcraft and your castle nft could earn you millions it's it's just it's very early so it's still a gamble um now some brief notes just just things i couldn't really fit in anywhere else is that uh currently you cannot access mirandus without exemplars so uh eventually they will create some free characters but if you want to if you boot up the game now because you can i think as of today it, it does come and go but if you were to download it today um it wouldn't let you access the game because they would see your wallet does not hold any exemplar nfts which would be your character so um at the moment you can it will let you the gala site will let you download the game um but when trying to run it it will, it will detect that you don't have an exemplar and you can't proceed from there uh but like i said eventually free characters will be released once they work out how and what they can do and what their limitations are um and also another note is gala games currently run on the ethereum blockchain using our our erc20 tokens uh so the only reason i mentioned that is expect gas fees when buying or selling which at the moment are pretty high but that might not always be the case um but that's it that's a wrap so i apologize for speaking so quickly and dumping so much on you all at once but personally i hate videos with waffle and hopefully you feel the same so i've tried to squeeze in as much info in as a, in a short time frame as possible um so yeah hopefully hopefully you enjoyed it and if you enjoyed the video and it provided any sort of value please tap that like button to help spread the video throughout the youtube verse um also subscribe if you like the cut of my jib and you want to get more news or reviews on upcoming play to earn projects thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time